Hello and welcome to our first episode about the FTM printed SLA printer. It's about the Z gantry. First an overview about the parts we need. Uh, they mainly consist of three 3D printed parts. First one will make our build plate. I have glued some uh, 5mm acrylic plate on top of the 3D printed part to have a nice uh, smooth surface for a build plate. This is a spare part with laser cutted edges. Nice clean edges. Then they have this clamp-like shape with an insert made of rubber made, one millimeter thick, which helps us to have a good grip, a good adhesion between the different pieces that come together. I always have a roll of these uh, rubber made laying around. They are great for making custom feet for housings. Then the third. 3D printed part that we have is this kind of shaft. It has a nice clean surface on the upper side and some 3D printed teeth on the, at the downside. Those teeth will be pushed inside the rubber once the pieces come together and this make a great adhesion so nothing will shake or be wacky. Also we need an M4 screw 25mm length with a hex shaped head and washer an M4 thumbs nut those hardware pieces will go onto the 3D printed part, which is, has this clamp-like shape. On the one side there is a hole that is hex-shaped. This is where the screw goes in. On the other side we will add the washer first. And then the M4 thumbs nut. The assembled clamp goes onto the shaft. The shaft has a smooth surface on the upper side and uh, teeth on the downside. The smooth surface on the upper side helps to move the clamp and to, to tilt it along the axis as long as the hex nut is not tightened. In this open position the clamp allows us uh, 40 degrees of freedom. We can tilt along the x-axis, move back and forth along the y-axis can also tilt along the y-axis and also adjust the height along the z-axis. As soon as we start to tighten the thumbs nut, the clamp will be pulled together, which causes the teeth of the other geometry will bite into the rubber, which makes a very tight bound uh, and prevents all the parts uh, to be shaky or wacky. It is a very strong bound can uh, shake this uh, without feeling that the parts will move. It's almost like they are printed in one single piece. Here you can see closely how the teeth bite into the rubber. This is for the grip of the build plate but also on the downside of the shaft. And once more a closer look from the other perspective. You can very well see here the teeth of the grip and how they are pu pushed inside the rubber and the same for the shift. And now let's see how this all fits together with the rest of the machine. The shaft itself has a modeled uh, thread on the one end so it's basically almost like a very big screw so the shaft can be screwed into the set slider the way the shaft is designed is that once we reach the maximum position by screwing uh, it should also automatically point with the teeth downwards to the direction of the screen. Finally, the build plate will be positioned into the center of the screen so that the grip of the build plate will point directly to the clamp above. 
and now we can lower the Z slider so that the clamp the slide above the grip and once we're satisfied with the position and the leveling at the same time we just need to tighten our thumbs nut no tools are needed just this one nut and everything is fixated and thanks to the idea of the teeth and the rubber it has such a strong uh, bound that uh, once we lifting the set axis everything stays in place Well, that's all for today. I hope you found this little idea for the set gentry interesting and see you next time maybe about another part of the FTM printed SLR printer.